Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be comparing a $200 swimsuit to an $8 swimsuit. So let's see how it goes. I haven't opened the $8 swimsuit yet and I kind of know what to expect because I have ordered swimsuits like that before. The, there's the Zoffel, cup sheet, which basically all can be grouped into like AliExpress. Yeah, so I'll say it right up front. I'm pretty biased going into this. I think that like luxury swimmer is a little too insane, but I'm really biased against like Zoffel, cup sheet, Shein, all those places, AKA AliExpress, dropship shops. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. They rip, they rip off designers. They produce things for cheap, they use cheap materials, and all around it's just bad customer service and I think it really feeds into like materialism and stuff, so I'm biased and I will say that. And what makes the luxury so much more expensive is, first of all, is the brand appeal, of course, uh, but they do use really nice materials that are really hard to find. A popular fabric that's pretty expensive is going to be Italian Lycra. If you've seen brands that advertise that they have Italian Lycra, it's expensive. So their swimwear is probably expensive. And because it is so expensive, the companies like AliExpress, the manufacturers who work with them, they just really cheapen out everything. They get much cheaper fabric, cheaper thread. Um, they don't sew it the same way. So that is why it is so much cheaper. So, like I mentioned earlier, I did one swimsuit from AliExpress. It cost $8. It was shipped from China. Got here in like five weeks or so, so it took a long time. Um, but it was super cheap and it's supposed to be a dupe, but we will see. And then the second one I got was from Free People, but it's the brand Mont C Swim. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I'm just afraid I'm pronouncing it wrong. But this brand I've wanted to buy from for a long time. I know I DIY stuff, but I really like like looking at brands and just seeing how they sew things and I do wear their stuff. So as I rate these, I'm gonna be rating them on a couple of things. It's gonna be fabric quality, the lining quality, sizing accuracy, translucency, since those are both white, the sewing technique use, and kind of like a shape comparison on how it fits on the body. Okay, let's try on some swimwear. All right, so first up is the luxury swimwear. Like I said, this swimsuit was $200, which is absolutely insane, but I must say it felt amazing putting on. At first I was concerned it was gonna be too small, even though I ordered a size medium, which I'm usually like a small slash a medium, um, but this actually stretched very, very well and it fit to my form incredibly well. Usually things are gonna be a little bit too big for me in the waist, but because this one did stretch so much, it did fit nicely. And an added bonus is it fits my booty very nicely, which I tend to have problems with. And overall, I really, really like it. It's really good quality, not translucent at all. It's not padded, so that kind of stinks, but um, it could be used as like a bodysuit and stuff. I do think I'll be getting lots of wear out of this one. Okay. So clearly this is super nice and I really like it. So here we go. Like I said, this took about five weeks to get in, which is annoying, but for eight bucks, it's like, all right. And they did have an option for US shipping that was like $4 more. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, you can already tell it's a different color. I can tell that this little ring looks very cheap, and the lining is like that mesh lining that I hate. So, okay. sure that this is swimwear fabric has like no stretch to it feels like this if you like got a sponge and went and then let it and then got it soaking wet and then let it sun dry for like a week 
so it was like over dry so it feels really like kind of starchy almost and not very soft um but let's try it on okay so like honestly it's not that bad but if you had it on like i did you would see that it definitely does not compare in any way shape or form so you can kind of tell from some of the shots that the fabric is a little bit translucent. You can kind of see the cups through. It doesn't give me as good of a lift as the other suit does. It cuts a little bit higher on the hips, which I don't particularly mind, but on the back side, it does kind of have a slimmer cut. And like I said, the fabric is not great. I'm not even sure that it's swimwear fabric. So you can see on the bum cuts, the luxury one, it's a little more shaped to a butt versus the other one, which is a little more cheeky. They're very similar, but obviously the big thing is the color um, and the fabric also, I'd say. And the fabric was pretty disappointing in the $8 version, which I expected, of course, and when you're comparing it to a $200 swimsuit, it can be difficult to make it fair. So this is another thing that I noticed, is that the little plastic rings, the luxury one is much, much nicer. The $8 one, it feels like I could snap it with my hands. And as you can see, the fabrics, they just don't quite stretch the same. Whereas the luxury one stretches quite a bit, the other one just doesn't have much give. And you can kind of see the texture on the $8 swimsuit and how it's different than the $200 one. So lining, I'm not a huge fan of the mesh lining. I think it's pretty uncomfortable. But the other one, it does have a swimwear fabric as the lining. So that is very, very nice. It feels very soft. And the thing that I was most surprised about is that these are actually sewn very, very similar. I'd say, except for the cups, these are made in the same way so that the seams lay flat and overall looks really good. The cups do make quite the difference though. I wouldn't trust wearing it in the water. Hey there, it's a different day but I did want to hop on and say that the dupe really wasn't too bad. And if you compare $8 versus $200, it makes sense kind of what it turned out to be. I personally am not going to be wearing the AliExpress version again. I'm going to be donating that and forgetting about it. But the Montessi one, I will definitely be wearing a ton. It was actually really impressive how it formed to my shape so well and really accentuated all the right places. And for me, at least, it's really hard to find in swimwear. So I'll definitely be wearing that again soon. But yeah, the $8 dupe wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. So if that's something that you're interested in, then that would be a good one to give it a go on. Thank you very much for watching this video. I have two more One Piece tutorials planned for the end of this month as well as next month. So if you like what you see from this video, there might be something kind of similar, slash if you're interested in sewing swimwear, I hope you stick around.